Hi, this is Dr. Malwani, and we are here to talk about prior refractive surgery repair, LASIK, PRK. You know, there are patients that end up with significant issues after prior LASIK. Um, we've been treating those for a number of years, and we've gotten pretty familiar with what the issues are and what's causing them. And uh, a lot of it really has to do with decentration or laser correction that wasn't applied centrally or in one position or the laser failed tracking. And this creates asymmetric, abnormal, irregular corrections that cause glare, halo, doubling of vision, uh, which can actually be pretty disabling for a lot of patients. It really causes a lot of visual distortions. Um, and even though the correction is, you know, you can see 2020 or 2025 and the correction seems appropriate, uh, it really, uh, the, the other side effects are such that it is a significant problem. And we've seen quite a number of these patients um, over the years, and a lot of it really seems to be uh, based on two problems. Uh, one is uh, a biomechanical change in the cornea that leads to a eccentric or asymmetric correction. This is something I wrote a paper on and published in uh, 2020. It was the first paper of its kind like this. Uh, but the biggest reason, honestly, is just lasers in the past that did not create a symmetric correction, decentered the correction, or failed tracking. And these are lasers that essentially just did not have great tracking systems. Um, one of the most popular lasers out there just has a simple 50 hertz tracker. Uh, still used today, been pretty much the same for about 20 years. Um, <clears throat> the laser that we use here has a thousand hertz tracker the fastest eye movement is 500 hertz. The laser head is 500 hertz, so essentially the tracker oversamples, and so it's very difficult to escape that tracking, so it's very difficult to cause a decentration or eccentric as uh, uh, ablation with this particular laser. Um, and so the treatment of this is interesting. We've been doing it for a number of years, and what we discovered was that using the topographic eye and ablation worked really, really well, that we created a whole new shape and were able to do that a lot of times underneath the original LASIK flap where we can actually create it in the same bed and it eliminates a lot of these problems that patients have and really gives really good vision again. It's essentially you're creating a laser shape and treatment that looks like it was done today rather than on a good machine, on, on, on one of these great machines and using these protocols to make a better than normal human cornea rather than on something that perhaps was older or lower technology, these kinds of things. Um, and so the, the interesting aspect of this is, is what we've discovered is looking through the data of this sort of user experience is that there are quite a few patients that actually have compensation from the epithelium. Um, the actual surface skin layer sort of starts trying to fill in like putty or stucco, the irregularity, and that seems to be a big cause of why the prescription changes over time because you get some effect in the central area from the decentered or, or eccentric ablation, but then what happens is, is that as the epithelium starts filling it in, because it says this is an irregular shape, it starts filling it in, then it actually throws the refraction off and so you don't even get the proper correction anymore. And so what ends up happening with these patients is, is that if we take and use the epithelial compensation as part of the treatment, because the topographic guided ablation systems like Contura, they don't see that. And so if you use the actual compensation as part of the treatment, uh, which we can, um, we actually get an even better faster visual result where we create a better cornea that's much more stable and we reach that point much more uh, quickly. That's a trans epithelial uh, topographic guided PRK procedure 
uh, is something that actually falls under a patent that was actually granted to me um, in 2020, December 2020. Uh, so I believe we're the only people uh, in the United States doing this procedure for repairing LASIK and past PRK. Uh, but the key here is, is that with this, we can do a laser reconstruction of the cornea create a whole new shape to eliminate a lot of these visual distortions, abnormalities, glare, doubling, all of these, these almost disabling problems that some people have. Or if the problems aren't as disabling, we can also still recreate the cornea so that when we fix whatever refraction is off or correction is off, that it stays and it gets better optics and better vision and better night vision with it. And so this is something we do pretty regularly now. And if you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.drmontwani.com. And of course, we are here in beautiful San Diego, California.